What's your 4th of July party to go off with a bang? We're here to share her top 4th of July party tips with us. We have Chef Jamie Gwynn. Good morning, Chef. How are you? Good morning, Susan. I'm very glad to be with you. Happy almost 4th of July celebration. Yes, we are setting up in delicious style for a brilliant celebratory weekend and um, and I'm hungry. I don't know about you. <laughs> you are making us hungry just looking at that spread there. Okay, so how can we wow our guests with something other than the same old side dishes? You've got it. All right, lots of really delicious ideas actually to allow you to enjoy the party. So let's start with a bruschetta bar, shall we? Nothing like a beautiful build your own or DIY to keep your guests well fed and entertained. I like that this setup is totally sun safe. No need to worry about the heat. Super simple and the possibilities are endless. Bruschetta mix, tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, basil, some toasted bread slices, and then all your favorite toppings. And you get to enjoy the party at the start, of course, where everybody does it themselves. So I just think that's a great way to kick off the celebration. Yeah, now on my menu, is always a summer salad, but one that has some oomph to it, right? I like a salad that fills you up. This is a make ahead where you can just dress it right before you serve it. And I use North Carolina sweet potatoes year round, but I love to put them in my salads. So I cut rounds and I grill them so that they get that beautiful caramelization and tenderness. Then I put them on a bed of greens, baby spinach or arugula. I'm doing red, white, and blue here. Strawberries, feta cheese, blueberries, some toasted pistachios for crunch. And the North Carolina sweet potatoes are really nutrient dense. Vitamins A, C, antioxidants, fiber. They're perfect for any diet because they're sweetened from the earth. They're very low in calories and they have a very long shelf life. So keep those North Carolina sweet sweet potatoes on hand and make a salad like this because you will be a culinary hero. Lots of inspiration this recipe at ncsweetpotatoes.com. That looks wonderful. Okay, what other uh, menu Doesn't tips and grilling ideas do you have for us? You got it. All right, so this is perfect for picnics. And I happen to love the idea that you do get to step away from the grill if you serve it even as a starter course at your barbecue or as a vegetarian side. But this is a Greek salad pinwheel made with Pearl Specialties Olives. This is my favorite olive and their Kalamata is so briny and delicious. So the flavors and freshness of Pearl's Kalamata Olives, hummus, diced tomato, feta cheese, rolled into a spinach tortilla and then cut into rounds makes you feel like you're on a Mediterranean summer vacation. By the way, Pearls is giving away a Greece getaway. Between now and the end of July, you can enter to win a nine day vacation to Greece, round trip airfare and hotel for two. You go to olives.com to enter. Now I wanna brighten your July 4th gathering with a celebration of color because this is my favorite new food find. These are called confetti snacks. And I have a three-year-old son who is the love of my life, but even though he's the son of a chef, he is not very veggie friendly. <laughs> he ate the whole bag. This is the substitute for greasy fried chips because confetti chips are made with vitamin rich veggies. They're never fried. Each bag has seven different kinds of veggies like radishes and carrots and mushrooms, and they're seasoned with barbecue or truffle or this delicious curry seasoning that I'm addicted to now. And the crunch is awesome. So put them out in a bowl or use them as croutons for your salad and look for them at your grocer. You can find them at confettisnacks.com. And if you have another 30 seconds, I have one great grilling tip for you. Sure, go ahead. We wanna see it. Yeah. All right, here goes. Thank you. Barbecue corn made better with a brine. I know it sounds crazy, but you're gonna take water and stir to dissolve salt and sugar, and you're gonna soak your corn on the cob for 30 minutes before you put it on the grill. It is sweet, it is seasoned, it is juicy, it is delicious. You've gotta try it. More inspiration, by the way, at dailylounge.com. We love it, Chef Gwen. Thanks so much for giving us all these new ideas today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Happy Fourth to you. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Gwen saying, Brian, your corn. I've never heard of doing that. Huh. But, I mean, it sounds simple, and I'm sure it tastes great. Oh, I, I, there's nothing to me like putting corn on the cob on the grill. Yeah.
that, does, that is like a summer staple It takes staple it for next family. level. So if you're grilling today, throw the corn on there. And I like those chips that she talked about. I've seen various like sweet potato chips. You mm -hmm. can find them in local grocery stores, but I've never seen that brand. So I'm going to be looking for them. I liked all the variations too. Mm -hmm. The truffle chips, mm -hmm. that, that was right. I, I heard that and was like, ooh, that sounds pretty Something good. Something different mm -hmm. there. Hey, up next, addiction.